Warning, the following episode contains strong language and adult themes. Hello there, welcome back to What The Fuck, the series where we look at the weirdest news type things that just go around the world and you know what, they're really weird, and we just try and guess which one out of three stories, one of our writers has wrote out a fake story, so we gotta try and guess which one is the fake one. My name's Matt Lidd from What Pictures, and are you guys ready to go? Guys, behind the camera, are you guys ready to go? Yeah. You guys at home, are you ready to go? It's not weird if you reply, it's fine. <sighs> Let's do this. Story number one. Woman bathes in wet satin for 40 minutes a day. News. <laughs> yeah, these news stories. <laughs> Not really news. After reading numerous articles on how to achieve glowing and healthy skin, Jenny Rowan Dane decided to take a Pinterest article to a new level and purchased a bag of sand. Right. Why? Well, I suppose we're gonna find out in a sec. Purchased a bag of sand from a website that supplies sandboxes and accessories for children and play centers. It is said dampening the sand allows it to stick to the body and helps the pores open up. And the sand's gonna get in. Nah, no, they can't be that big, surely. Really? <laughs> Just filling up with sand. That's how Sandman's made. Relieving all traps, dirt, and bacteria. Rowan Dane swears by the routine. Does she now? Oh, got a quote. I used to suffer with acne on my back, chest, and buttocks, but now I don't have to worry. 40 minutes a day does the trick. <laughs> it's a miracle in a bag. <laughs> Just like Jesus when he died. And I recommend to anybody who's going through what I was going through. It was such a confidence booster when I first discovered it worked because I thought I had tried everything. It was my last hope. A bag of sand is your last hope. Hey, just like Star Wars. Since posting the progress photographs of before and after spread across the six months, the sensation of the wet sand bath, that bet that's hard to clean out, innit? I can't be asked. I'll just live with the paws. I don't know about skin, to be honest. I don't know what's going on. Read widely across the internet and is even suggested by beauty bloggers and health and beauty magazines. What do you think, ladies? And men, come on. Don't forget to share your results with at Beauty Guru, it tips pro. I'm not saying that again. Well, t I can tell you one thing, I wouldn't put sand on my body to get better skin. That's just weird. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, like grit and exfoliating. Yeah, but, but, the exfoliating. but this is actual skin. Well, it's like when you get close. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever done to look better? To look better? Uh, I've done fake tan before. I've done fake tan, yeah. You see, yeah I, I know the trouble, ladies, when you get it on your fingers and you can't get it all the way around, you just got that weird... Yeah, I know. I forgot you did that. Yeah, How no. did it work out for you? It was alright for a bit. Everyone thought I went on holiday. I didn't. Story number two. Artist use the strangest materials. Oh. Santa Fe, NM, November 9th. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New Mexico, New Mex- NEW MEXICO! Based artist Justin Crow's business Chronicle Cremation Designs ooh, Creates unique custom memorial mem memorial fucking hell. Creates unique custom memorial objects like functional dinnerware out of human remains <laughs> Oh no <laughs> Oh Thoughts? We've hit the Hannibal Lecter stage of the show. It can only get better. Yeah. No, it can't. It can just, get, it just goes downhill from here. What started out as a personal project, what? <laughs> Following the death of a loved one. I don't know if that makes it weirder, to be honest. Has blossomed into a successful enterprise. Why? Offering a variety of usable memorial products coated in a custom ash glaze. Creating objects that tell stories is my passion. Tell stories? Of what? Of what people do? Because you're using their bones to eat, I presume. Ah, uh, Crow said, the inspiration of Chronicle came following a death which led to a period of personal growth. And also chopping. Instead of observing an urn or a photograph on a shelf, I wanted a way to interact with, <laughs> with memories on a daily basis, so he turned his mom into a cutlery set. So that they could... <laughs> oh no. Our process was born out of a desire to keep those who lived before us remembered in daily life. Oh no. What else has he made? Drinking out of your granddad. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sweep up using my sister. Grandma Colander. I thought you were gonna go dark for the dildo. I was just... Oh! Nelly! Thanks, 
Dad? <laughs> this is weird. Our process was born out of a desire to keep those- Oh, I've said that. Crow described his custom pieces as interactive. What do they do? Talk back? <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why grandma sounds like that. They let you integrate the memories into everyday life and use them, interact with them, and see them on an everyday basis. You've kind of said all that. Thank you, Crow. You're fantastic. Now, ooh, you're a bit tapped. <laughs> Just leave them be. Burn them or bury them. Don't burn me. Alright. Burn me. Send me off into space. You want me burned? Yeah. Oh. I'm not coming back as a zombie, fuck that. Story number three! That's a way to make money! You're intrigued. A pregnant woman is urinating her way through college. Thoughts? <laughs> I guess anyone kind of urinates their way through life, so, you know. She's been selling positive pregnancy tests on Craigslist. Wait, hang on, that took a turn. What? <laughs> oh. Oh no, why would you want to do that? There's a load of evil girls just going round tricking lads. The going rate is $25 for one. You can also get two for $35 if you have to travel more than 60 miles. The woman's ad was making her $200 a day. It reads, when you are using it for your own amusement, such as a prank, or to blackmail the CEO of wherever, or... <laughs> Oh, see, it is evil women just trying to take over the world. Who are having an affair with I don't care at all, this is an absolutely no questions asked type of deal. Tell me what you need and I provide it for monetary exchange. What do you mean? You're just selling positive pregnancy tests. That's what you do. I will not overcharge for a urine test, but I will not be low-balled either. Do not contact me if you are going to be cheap and difficult. <laughs> oh my god, it's Heisenberg, but like... Woman, pregnant woman version. What a bitch. Me being in college, working on a bachelor's and needing all this money to pay for a degree. This was a no-brainer. The seller told WJAX TV. Lawyer and former FBI agent, why is he getting involved? Vol Dale Carson, piss off lad. Told WJAX that it's not legal to sell urine to produce positive pregnancy tests. Carson says the person who uses it to fool someone could be guilty of fraud. <laughs> Uh, no. I think it's a horrible plan. Like, it's an easy way to make money, obviously, but what are you doing going around tricking lads for? Just get a normal job. They'd find out anyway. It's not the point. <laughs> it's not the point. Why are you backing them up? What happened this episode? <laughs> Story number one. Woman, ba oh, woman bathes in wet sand for 40 minutes a day. What an idiot. Story number two, artists use the strangest materials, like Yenan. And story number three, that's a way to make money, by fooling guys, you evil, evil women. <laughs> story number one, story number three. See, it sounds so vague that I'm just going to say story number one. The sand bath. That's what you want to go for? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and we do appreciate all the time that you spend watching our stuff. So again, thank you very much for more pictures. Uh, if you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get daily notifications of everything that we upload. Please follow us on social media. All the links are in the description below. My name's Matt Liz from What Pictures, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was the news. Bye bye.